this is John from caveofprogramming.com. In this tutorial uh, in C++ for Complete Beginners, we're going to look at strings. So I hope you had a go at um, playing with integer variables from the last video. Otherwise, this is going to gradually go over your head. Hopefully you've played around with that a bit. And I'm going to create a new project here. Let's create a new C++ project. Select Hello World C++ project, and I'm going to call this strings. So a string in C++ is, um, it means uh, like a bunch of letters, like some text, basically. Let's get rid of this C out in the main program. And uh, we saw in the last video that you can type things like int uh, value, you can call it what you like, equals six. And then you can do stuff like C out and uh, value, another chevron, and endler, semicolon. Uh, one, one thing that I want to point out here, well a couple of things, don't forget semicolons on the end of lines uh, because it's really easy to forget those and if you uh, don't put them in it won't work. Also, um, bear in mind that the compiler is going to read line by line starting at the top and moving down the file. So I can't do this, I can't put C out value here and int value equals 6 underneath it because when it gets to here it hasn't seen value, it doesn't know it exists. It only We only define um, value down here. Uh, so um, what I want to show you in this tutorial is you can do a similar thing with text. So if you want to work with text in C++, instead of saying int value, you could say string value. And now we don't want to say equals 6, we want to give it some text. So we'll, we'll put, we always put um, what we call string literals, bits of text, in double quotes. So I'm going to put, hello, this is a string. So it's just some literal text and we've assigned it to this variable. Now actually, um, this variable value is, is not quite the same as the integer variables that we saw in the last video. Not only is it not the same type, it's a string instead of an, an integer, but this is technically what we call an object in C++, and string is technically a class, whereas int is a primitive type. And that won't make much sense at the moment, but I just want to mention it because I'm going to keep going over these concepts and gradually you'll, you'll see what I mean. Uh, so if we just do this, we, we, we could call it value, we could call it whatever we want. Um, let's call it, I don't know, text or maybe text one. That's, that's good. So if we, if we run this program now, let's run it. Might have to build it first. Let's go to project, build project and click run. And yes, I want, I want to save it. And it says down here, hello, this is a string. So we could have another string here. Let's say string text to equals, um, well, let's make this. Let's make the first one, hello, space. And the second one, I'm going to put Fred in there. And the reason I want to do that, semicolon, is because I want to show you that you can also concatenate strings or join them together. So we could put here, C out text to endler. So we've got two bits of text, two strings. And let's run that and see if it works. So it says, hello, Fred. And um, we could also do what we've seen in a previous tutorial. We could say text to and another chevron here and get rid of the second one now. So we could output them both with one C out statement. So if I run this, that will also work. Now before I, I show you um, concatenation, I just want to point out that strings are one of the things that are not completely standard between compilers. So if you try this program and it doesn't work and you're absolutely sure that your program looks the same as mine and you've got everything correctly in it, if you're using a different compiler, that may be why. You might have to do something a bit different on Visual C++. I don't know, but if you're using a different compiler, you might have to do something like uh, put include string at the top here, possibly, I don't know. Um, or you might even need to give the string 
a uppercase first letter, which doesn't work with my compiler, but with yours it might. String isn't a C++ keyword, it's uh, something that's kind of added on to C++, an extra kind of thing. So bear that in mind if, you're, if this program doesn't work on your compiler, but hopefully it will. So we've seen that you can add integers together, and you might wonder, can I add strings together? And the answer is yes, let's create another string, string text 3, set that equal to text 1 plus text 2. So this looks like addition, but technically it's concatenation. Concatenate an ordinary English word that we just don't use much normally, but it's the right word to use in a programming context. To concatenate one string with another means to add it on, to join it on to the um, first string. So we're concatenating this to this, and a resulting string we're storing in this text3 variable. So let's output text3 here, see out text3, endler. And now we'll have two lines, we'll have this line and we'll have this line and hopefully they'll both look identical, they'll both be hello Fred. And I, I put a space there so we've got a space between the words, let's try that. So I'll save it and run it and there we go, we've got two hello Freds. So have a play around with this, try declaring some strings, try concatenating them, try outputting them in, in various different ways. Uh, make sure that you can get the hang of this. And in the next tutorial, probably what we're going to do is we're going to look, I don't know, possibly at getting input. Well, I'll think about that, but yeah, probably, because it's interesting. And we want to try to do as much interesting stuff as quickly as possible. So that's it for this tutorial, and until next time, happy coding.